Live from the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control Headquarters in beautiful Placer County, it's the What Bugs You Video Rewind. And now, here are your hosts, Lester and Yolanda. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the What Bugs You Video Rewind. Now, I may look familiar to you, as I am Webster's twin brother, Lester. And I am Wanda's twin sister, Yolanda. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> now, today, we're going to rewind some of our favorite moments from some of our favorite Webster and Wanda videos. And let's say we start with the first video that launched it all. It's the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District's what Bugs You School Tour? Oh, Lester, this is a classic. It is our first glimpse into two characters who have a lot of fun, but have a lot to say. Oh, I agree, Yolanda. The presentation style is entertaining and informative. I believe the term for that is infotainment. Mm. Say it with me now. Infotainment. infotainment. <laughs> so, what was one of your favorite parts of the video, Lester? For me, I enjoyed seeing all the mosquito fish at the hatchery. Let's say we rewind and show the clip. We have lots of mosquito fish ready at a moment's notice to be transported to areas of standing water, like ditches, green pools, ponds, and horse troughs. And this is a natural way of not only feeding the fish, but of reducing the mosquito population. Mosquitoes lay their eggs on the surface of the water where they float like little tiny rafts. And these fish have their eyes and their mouths on the top of their heads, which makes it very easy for them to not only find, but to eat the larvae. I found that, as Webster would say, Factually fascinating! <laughs> what did you enjoy most about the video, Yolanda? Well, I would have to say that one of my favorite parts was a demonstration on how to break the life cycle of the mosquito by draining all standing water. Let's rewind a short clip, shall we? <laughs> oh, I thought the energy was outstanding. And the message came across loud and clear. Drain all standing water. I agree completely, Yolanda. I give it a big thumbs up. Me too, Lester. And now we're going to take a look at three short videos also produced by the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District. And the first video we're going to rewind is The Wacky World of Ticks. Oh, I love this one, Lester. Partially because we were introduced to the pupologist, Romeo. I'm such a fan. <laughs> I also enjoyed how they went out on location to investigate all the hiding places of those ticks. Let's rewind the clip. They hang around in grassy areas, waiting for you and your pets to walk by. Then they grab on and hitch a ride. Once on you, they crawl around, looking for the perfect place to attach. Ticks that are attached to you for more than a day increase the risk of disease transmission, like Lyme disease, which is why it's so important for you to check yourself and your dog for ticks when you get home. Come on, Romeo, we're gonna go home and do a thorough tick check. Thanks, Angela, keep up the good work. Oh, I really enjoyed that one too, Yolanda. That Romeo is definitely an up-and-coming star. <laughs> but the one scene that really grabbed my attention was when they talked about ticks being blood-sucking bugs. I want to suck your blood. That's not what I had in mind. Sorry. You know, it's frightening how ticks can latch onto animals and latch onto people too. That really grabbed my attention. Oh, me too. The other video that held my attention throughout was exploring heartworm in pets. Now, while this is a very serious subject, they managed to find a balance of humor throughout, as seen in this clip. You want to know what's funny? What's funny? What a Dalmatian says when it scratches itself. Okay, what does a Dalmatian say when it scratches itself? Ah, uh, that's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Wanda, she's got a million of them. She sure does. <laughs> if I were going to rewind one of my favorite scenes, it would have to be the animation, showing how the heartworm travels through the animal's body to the heart. It was very eye-opening, as seen in this clip. 
When an infected mosquito bites your dog, it can enter its bloodstream and make its way to the heart, where it can live for many months, even years. Hmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is probably not one of Romeo's favorite parts. I'm obliged to agree with you, Yolanda. Mm. And our last video rewind is the latest production from the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District, The Buzz About Yellow Jackets. Oh, I found this riveting mm. from the live video of the Yellow Jackets building their nests to explaining what can happen when you encounter a hangry yellow jacket. You mean besides stay away? <laughs> Exactly. If it is an active nest, contact the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District and they'll send out a technician to investigate. If it is a yellow jacket nest, they'll safely remove it. Oh, simply amazing. Mm. Lester, there is so much to see in all three of these videos. They were fun and entertaining and yet shared important information to help us all stay better prepared. I give all three videos a big thumbs up. I couldn't agree more, Yolanda. <laughs> In fact, we give a big thumbs up to all the videos featured here today. The What Bugs You School Tour, The Wacky World of Ticks, Exploring Heartworm and Pets, and The Buzz About Yellow Jackets. And we highly recommend you see all four of these videos in their entirety at the PlasterMosquitoLearningLab.org website. And while you're there, download your own Rewind Video Review Sheet so you can make notes about key parts of each video. It's the best way to make sure you don't miss a thing. So clever. So clever. <laughs> and rumor has it that those two, Webster and Wanda, have other videos in the works. So watch the website for the further adventures of Webster and Wanda. And be sure and check the website for upcoming contests, games, and activities. Well, that's a wrap. Until next time, I'm Lester. And I'm Yolanda. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone.